Good evening, everybody. We're gonna do an afternoon and nocturnal creek walk today. Uh, mostly searching for snapping turtles, but really just to get out and find some critters because it is so dry and hot. You can see the water level in this creek is almost as low as we've ever seen it. So should be pretty good visibility for turtling tonight. Let's get to it and see what we can turn up. All right, like five minutes into the creek and we've got our first find, a nice big megacephalic loggerhead musk. Look at that thing. That is a unit of a loggerhead. I'm sure we'll be seeing quite a few of these, so. All right, here's another big uh, megacephalic female loggerhead musk turtle right here next to the first one. Um, there definitely seems to be a lot of activity with these guys already tonight, and hopefully that will continue. Wow, look at you. That is a gorgeous loggerhead. Whoop. <laughs> And here's yet another loggerhead. Lots of these guys active right now. All right, and there we have our first Nerodia of the night. I spotted this guy foraging along the edge of the creek, and he has since bit me about 50 times while I was trying to put my headlamp on. But hopefully that won't be the only Nerodia we see. This is definitely a site that I've noticed a pretty dramatic decrease in Nerodia over the years, but it's a good sign that we found this guy right at dusk. Maybe there will be more to come tonight. Looks pretty cool in the water. Look at this loggerhead coming up for air. Wonder if I can nab him. Look at this little dude. This is last year's baby loggerhead. <laughs> so cute. All right, I just grabbed a nice one-armed cooter. Look at her little nub there. Very pretty turtle as always. Actually, uh, we saw one earlier that got away, so it was nice to actually successfully grab this one. All right, back to the depths. Check that out. That's one of our native mussels fish mimics. Look at that. Oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at this guy. Second cooter of the night in hand, a big male. He is beautiful. And derpy, a little bit derpy for sure, but very pretty turtle. Yeah, 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 I get it. All right, this thing might get away, but there's a huge soft shell right here. There's a nice random slimy salamander chilling on the bank. Look at that guy. Check that out. There's a nice patternless adult barking tree frog right here. I just spotted chilling in the bushes. That is a really cool find around here. We see them semi-regularly, but it never gets old and never more than one or two at a time. They're not a very common frog around this part of the state. There's a bunch of fresh tadpoles. I'm guessing these are fowler's toad based on that being the only species we're hearing calling right now. They're pretty young. They haven't really started to mature much yet. Very tiny. What is going on here? We have interrupted the council meeting of fowleri apparently. This is nuts. I have never seen such a heinous congregation of toads in my life. Look at this lardo in the front here. There's another one coming in. This is weird. It's mid-june and a hundred degrees and a drought and these guys are like yeah it's breeding season baby let's do this all right we got a nice old duo here Devin nabbed this big loggerhead and then i caught yet another cooter lots of cooter and loggerhead activity tonight very nice well this guy kind of sticks out a little bit <laughs> look at that he is covered in the i guess the sediment from under the embankment and it's just not super well matched to the uh, sediment of the creek bottom, but that's our big target, as always, the alligator snapping turtle here in uh, the Georgia Piedmont. Look at that guy. Well, since Greg's not here, we don't have the uh, equipment to mark this guy, so we're just gonna leave him right here where we found him, but. 
That's very cool. I'm going to get voucher photos so we can potentially look back and see if we've caught this turtle in the future. But being a young turtle, he doesn't really have much in the way of distinct markings to, uh, to look back at in the future. So we might have to catch this guy another day with Greg and hopefully be able to mark him. But very, very cool to see. All right, I just night flipped a little Midland water. I think that might only be the second snake of the night, both Midland waters, which is nice to see. Like I said, these guys have, have become very, very scarce in this creek compared to what they used to be. So seeing them at all is nice. There's another nice cooter. There you go, bud. <laughs> She's gonna sit there now, huh? Very photogenic of you. Go on. There he goes. Very quietly. It's just getting pretty crazy out here, really. We've seen so much stuff. And now we have another barking tree frog. That one is kind of ugly, but still. It's weird to see so many cool amphibians when it's this dry out, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. The, uh, the, the creek is the place to find them. Stands to reason. This is kind of weird. We've got a little eastern fence lizard sleeping right here. We see him all the time during the day, but to see one at night like this is just kind of odd. We'll leave him to his uh, slumber, though. All right, guys, my phone is almost dead. It's soaked, and uh, we're most of the way back to the car, so this is probably going to be our last turtle of the night, but it's been a good one. We got a nice slider here to cap off a great night of turtling. So, um, surprisingly, the only slider we've seen, cooters have far outnumbered them tonight, which is always cool. But we'll just put this guy back in the creek. Really good turtle diversity, good numbers, some nice amphibians and snakes in there too. Really solid creek walk. Here you go, dude. Good morning, everybody. It is very early, and that is because we are getting out at the crack of dawn to try to find some snakes before this heat really ramps up. We're in the middle of an early summer heat wave right now. And really the future weather-wise is looking pretty bleak. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the basics and just try to have some fun creek walking this morning. Creek walking is one of my favorite things to do, as you probably know if you're a regular viewer on the channel. But I get so caught up in pursuit of the, uh, the turbo rare mega lifers. I don't really have much time to just get up in the morning and walk a creek until it gets too hot. So we're gonna do that today because there's not really anything else to do right now. The goal today is gonna be to see some good cottonmouth numbers and potentially some turtles too. This creek is pretty full of cottonmouths. We've seen a lot here in the past. And I've only been coming to this spot for a year or two now. So I'm excited to see what else it might produce over the course of time. So let's get to it, walk this creek until it starts getting too hot. And then we'll probably call it a day. All right, a quick little flip to start the day. Have not uh, successfully found anything under this yet. Oh, there's a ring neck. Nice. I think it's a ring neck. Is in fact a ring neck. Kind of surprised to actually see something under cover with how dry it's been. Not even necessarily the heat that, that really puts me off to flipping right now as much as the dryness. And typically flipping is pretty useless when it's this dry. Not that this is a major find or anything, but hey, we're on the board. All right, we've got an early strike. Look at that. A muddy cotton mouth. It's still so dark that my phone isn't even really getting enough light to uh, get quality video right now, but there it is, number one. I actually really like this kind of mud-colored look. I mean, this snake would look nothing like this if it wasn't covered in mud. All right, dude, we'll leave you right there. Snake number two, pretty quickly. Seems like stuff is out like I was hoping this morning, so we'll keep moving. All right, we're kind of starting off in this more of a floodplain type habitat, and then we'll move to the proper creek when it uh, gets a little bit warmer. But this area is really dry. I think we might've gotten lucky with that first cotton mouth. There's basically no water, which means there's not gonna be much for them to eat. Ah, uh, yes, the erosion netting brown snake. Snake number three for the day. Well, I've flipped two pieces of artificial cover so far today, and both of them have had fossorials. Not necessarily a great indication that flipping is gonna be great, but it's snakes during what could be the hottest and crappiest time of the summer. All right, we're coming up on a little bit of standing water before we hit the creek. This has been 
historically a pretty reliable little stretch for cotton. So let's see if there's anybody hanging out today. All right, there we go. Cotton mouth number two. Still very dark out here, so it's not going to be the best video, but there he is. Just a little bit of a closer look. He's really pretty, very red. It's really not going to be great video until it brightens up a little bit more out here. And pretty quickly after that, it's going to be too hot. But we'll leave that guy right there. Maybe we'll try to circle back later. All right, we have hit the main stem of the creek. And there's a decent amount of water in here. It's still really low, but there's plenty of water to support uh, any of the animals that might have fled that drying floodplain. Hey, there's number three. Not too bad. Decent numbers of snakes so far, and we're finally getting to the point where it's bright enough. I feel like this footage actually looks okay. Oh man, it's gonna get hot quick today. That sun is warm. This guy's just flying down the creek ahead of me, scaring off all the cotton mouths. Look at him, smug bird. <laughs> there he goes. Well, the heron missed this one. I think that's number four. Look at the premature gape. I'm nowhere near him. And there's a huge stretch of water between me and him. I don't think I can even get over there if I wanted to. But nevertheless, there he sits, gaping away. Oh, I just saw a cotton mouth in this tree. I was able to get a little bit of vertical video. But I didn't realize he was going to skedaddle at that rate. It looks like he's up in there now, but that was number five. And right past number five, which we, oh, didn't get a good look at. It's number six, which went straight into the water. <laughs> that's a new one. I believe that's number seven. Unless that's the same one we saw earlier in this area, which I don't think it is. It's around the same size, but it's moved quite a bit if it is. All right, number seven's just chilling and gaping for us. Definitely the least flighty of the day, but we'll just leave him right here. It looks like he is kind of gorging himself on anything he can eat in this puddle, understandably. And look at this. We've got number eight crawling through the dry floodplain. Hey, where are you going, dude? <laughs> look at this guy's mouth being illuminated by the sun. It's so bright, it's hard to get exposed properly. There we go. You can see those those fangs decently well and they're in the sheaths so they're not you're not able to see the actual pokey bits but they're in there rest assured all right guys well it's been a good couple of creek walking outings but i think i am probably going to wrap this episode up here but as always if i see anything on the way back to the car i will let you guys know and we are going to keep our fingers crossed for some rain and cooler temperatures in the next couple weeks because it has been pretty dang hot lately and as you can see the water is drying up at a rapid rate so anyways thank you guys for watching hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode even though it was a lot of common stuff for the most part but it has been fun to just get out and hike take a break from the road cruising thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time